Yeah, from 9 on, he's in the industrial area. Industrial area. Looks like he's on a pavement. Stand by. Hello, people and sheeple. Panaki news. Well, you all see the video I put up the other day of this um, young girl being abused in a US uh, jail. Well, I just wanted to show you that this is not just an isolated incident and that this goes on all the time, all over the US, in their jails and prisons. They use tasers, restraint chairs, just pure torture, as this video will show. From the so-called land of the free and home of the brave, or is it rather land of the fee and home of the slave? The video starts with Cuyahoga County Jail Corrections Officer Robert Marsh bringing in a restraint chair. Investigators say another corrections officer, Idris Fareed Clark, is seen shaking a can of pepper foam before Marsh escorts Chantel Glass out of her cell. Glass appears to be calm. She then sits down as Marsh straps her in. But as she's tilted back, her leg kicks up, and that's when things take a turn. Police say Marsh jumps and punches Glass in the face, and a second later, Clark sprays nearly an entire can of pepper foam directly into her eyes. Glass's attorney, Sabot Chandra, described it as torture. I don't think there's any other way to describe what we see happen on the video other than as a ritual of torture. <laughs> Brown is currently in amateur restraints during a lieutenant's check at approximately 8 o'clock. Uh, the inmate became disruptive and assaulted and assaulted the uh, lieutenant while he's doing a two hour check. Authorization for immediate am uh, four point restraints has been given by the warden. We will now currently place the inmate in the four point restraints. Inmate Brown, do not resist my steps. You understand? One at a time. Go ahead and turn the inmate's head towards the door. Walk forward, place him onto the litter. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Okay, secure them on the litter with the straps. This time, team, move them to uh, X block basement. So, 024. You may ground, do not resist my staff as they escort you. Do you understand? Okay, I'm just time. Undo the straps from the litter. All right, we'll move the inmate on the Reeves litter to the bed. Inmate, get around and not resist my staff as they move you. Do you understand? All right. Place the inmate onto the bed. Slide them onto the bed, center them in the bed. Yep. Let me pray on you now. Resist my staff as they apply hand restraints to you. Do you understand? Well, I haven't been Good circulation. Another place of sheep in the inmate. <clears throat> inmate Brown, do not move while my staff exits the cell. Do you understand? Team out. I'm out. They're out. Three out. Two out. One out, near the door. Camera operator, step forward, get a visual to get me. Okay, the time is now approximately 8.18 a.m. Uh, we're currently in X block basement at this time. Once again, at approximately 8 o'clock, uh, Lieutenant was conducting restraint checks on inmate Brown, first name Ruiz. Register number 0372401. Uh, during the check, the inmate became uh, aggressive towards the lieutenant and became assaultive uh, by striking the lieutenant with his uh, head, striking uh, the lieutenant underneath the chin. Uh, the lieutenant immediately placed the inmate on the floor to gain control of him, called for assistance, uh, at which time, when responding staff arrived, the inmate continued resisting staff once on the floor. Uh, authorization for immediate four point restraints. Uh, was given by the warden. Uh, the inmate was moved, removed from the cell and placed on a Reeves litter. An initial medical assessment was conducted of the inmate prior to leaving the unit. Uh, the inmate was placed on a medical litter and moved to X block. The inmate was escorted to cell 024 uh, and placed into four point restraints.
And secure, tether secure. Secure, secure. Control the door. Number two. Pin them and we're flying to restraints. Go legs. Don't move. Put your feet together. Face down. Put them face down. Do not move. Do not move. I got you from this. Nurse.
here at the Salt Lake County Metropolitan Jail. I wanted to get into law enforcement. Um, I put myself through the academy and I got hired on with the jail with the intention of just working at the jail for a couple of years. But once I got into the jail, I found I really liked it. There were a lot of opportunities here. I like the organization and I like being in a controlled environment where I know what's going on. Um, and that's what's kept me here inside of the jail. Anything. We've got one of our prisoners out in the intake area. He's handcuffed to our intake bench waiting to be searched. And he's started pulling against the handcuffs. He's starting to injure his wrists. So if he doesn't stop, we're going to have to restrain him further in order to prevent him from injuring himself. What we'll do is we'll put him in what we call the bodyguard restraint system, which will restrict his movement, and prevent him from being able to hurt himself. Glenn? Hey, uh, why don't you back up before I hurt you? Stop it. Let's, uh, let's get him on the Why don't you all get away from me? Stop moving. Stop moving. I'm not going to touch you guys. I'm just going to start Stop moving. The you don't need to knock yourself out. You guys will do it for you. Okay, let's take him forward and then we'll convert the cuffs. Yeah, I'll convert them, whatever you want. Take down on your stomach. On your stomach. Take down on your stomach. Whoa, let me get to my knees, please. Kneel down. OK. There you go. Please. Will you do me a favor and take this bag off my head before I freak out? Please. Let's turn her. You help Dude, up. take this bag off my head before I freak out. I can't handle this. No, I can't handle this bag on my hand. Take it off. Stay Please. still. Please take it off. Please, I'm talking. You're talking, you're fine. You're talking, oh. you're fine. Fine. Please Stop take moving. the bag off. Glenn. I can't see. Leg wraps coming in from okay. this side. Don't, don't. Get his legs together and secure. Dude, don't do that. Hey, the one who's had him touch it, please don't pull that hurt. Oh. oh, there's a lot of evil guys over here. Okay, chest harness. Oh, God. Can I, can I move my feet like this? I'm so sorry, you guys. Pick him up. I'm and everything. Let's take oh. him to P2. Turn her, grab the camera. Pull the gurney out, drop him up in the back corner, we'll just leave him until he's done trying to hurt him. Sorry, guys, I feel like this. More in the corner? Yes, sit in the corner. There we go. Let's leave him there. My back hurts. My back's sore. Glenn will check you out once you calm down a little bit. 
We ended up putting him into the bodyguard restraint system. He pulled his legs through the handcuffs while he was sitting on the bench and he was attempting to bite himself and injure himself some more. This is a safe way to do it. Bodyguard restraint system, it keeps them in a sitting position where they can breathe. We'll follow up with him, see if we can get him to calm down, make sure he's safe, and then we'll give him a chance to sober up and finish processing him. Hey, there's your cuffs it. back. Thanks um, can you tell me a little bit, I didn't see what this guy was brought in on. What was his deal? Why did we bring him in? He was brought on public intoxication and trespassing. He walked into someone else's house, was drunk, and uh, they asked him to leave. He left, came back, and was fighting. Uh, so when we got there, he was pretty belligerent, uh, yelling at us, put him in cuffs, put him in the back seat, and he was hitting his head on the, on the door. So I put him in his seat belt, and he was trying to choke himself out. You know, a lot of crazy stuff like okay. that. Okay. Well, thank you. No you guys problem. have a safe night, yeah. and we'll take care of him. Thanks. Take care. We're going to go talk to Glenn, see if we can get him to calm down, maybe take the bodyguard off of him. And he'll be able to calm down a little better than what he's doing right now. Hey, Glenn? I've been locked up for six hours. Glenn. <laughs> Glenn. I can't move. If we take this. I can't breathe. I can't see. Okay, Glenn, if we take this off of you, will you calm down? And as long as I can see. If, if you start fighting with us, I'm going to leave you in this. No, sir. No, sir. As long okay, as I can relax. See. Let's get you out, okay? Can I roll? Just hang where you're at. We're going to leave the cuffs on for okay. now, but let's take the bodyguard off. Let's I start with really, the chest harness. Okay. I couldn't really yeah, roll if I wanted to. Okay. Thank you so much. Behave yourself, all right? Yes, sir. Just calm down. Don't try to fight when we're taking this off. We'll take that off last. Take the leg wrap off. Roll into prone. Okay, Glenn, we're going to stand you up, then we'll take that off your head. You guys should have done that before you put me down. Did you get the cuff cork, Lloyd? I'm not walking into a wall. All right, Glenn, just put your, keep your nose in that corner, all right? Yes, sir. Until I tell you to back up. Yes, sir. All right? We successfully got him out, out of the bodyguard restraint. It just seemed to be agitating him more than it was helping him to calm down. Get him on the ground. Bring a chair. You are on camera. If you hurt me, you will be another one. Right? Nobody wants to hurt you. Well, I'm not resisting. I'm not doing anything When you guys are ready, let's... I'm not uh, doing anything to fight you guys. If you cause any pain... I, my lawyer will know about it. Okay. All right, we're going into restraint here. Let's go ahead and get him up. Let's get him in the chair. My hands are well, I'm not yeah. resisting. All right, roll over. How do I not resist? Roll over. I don't resist. Yeah. I'm not resisting. Stand up. Just listen. All right, come on out. Sit down. Yes, Sergeant. If you put my hands behind my back, that's causing discomfort, which is cruel and unusual punishment. Okay. It's cruel and unusual punishment for you to strap my hands behind my back in a position where I can't move. They'll be um, released and put in the uh, arms of the chair here just a second. Well, we'll see about that, won't we, sir? Look what you do to us. All right, lean forward. Do you white people feel good doing this? Little yeah, you do, don't you? Guys, be careful with those arms. You have to. You have to, don't you? Got it. Get the off me. That's enough. Stop resisting. That's enough. Stop resisting. Stay in that position right there. Go. You good? Watch the hand. Watch the hand. Grab his hand. Got this side. Watch that arm. Got him. Can't breathe. Got him. Can't breathe. Can't breathe. Can't breathe. I can't breathe! I can't breathe! I can't breathe! I can't breathe! Help me, please! Hang on. I can't breathe! I can't breathe! Help me, please! Here, strap me. I can't breathe! Help me, please! Let's get the get straps on. Miguel. 
I'm happy. You can't breathe. Don't you even think about it, baby. I'm not, I just want to breathe. Yes, do not even think about it. straps on, thank you. Bad time move. Here, let me get this done. Watch your arms, Sarge. Feet in. <coughs> Make sure we're cinched in. Double check everything, guys. Let's get him in the room. Get him in the room. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> It hurt really bad. It burned. Martini Smith was 20 years old and pregnant. Oh my God! She survived the taser shot, but miscarried and lost her baby. I'm about to have a seizure. Smith was booked into the Franklin County Jail in Columbus, Ohio, in 2009. She and other inmates filed a lawsuit claiming guards at the jail used their tasers in a callous and sadistic manner. Stand up, dude, or I'm going to take you again right now. I can't feel my legs, man. I can't. I'm crying. I can't move. These videos, some of which have never been seen before, illustrate the claims. Now, sit down. Inmates who were stunned for not following commands. Some were impaired by drugs or alcohol. One man was deaf. Up. Yeah. The sheriff's office said each incident was a justified use of force and denied all wrongdoing. I was asleep. The U.S. Justice Department intervened on behalf of the inmates and the county agreed to settle. Smith was paid $27,500. Her case is one of hundreds cited by Reuters of alleged taser misuse in U.S. jails. It can be a recipe for disaster. Eric Balaban with the American Civil Liberties Union specializes in prisons. He says without proper oversight, tasers can often be misused in a correctional setting. There's a place for tasers, uh, but it has to be extremely well regulated. Officers have to be well trained in their use and their use has to be effectively audited by correctional professionals and supervisors. When that doesn't happen, Reuters found it can lead to accusations of torture or abuse, and in some cases, death. Axon, the weapons manufacturer, says tasers are an effective tool for jail and prison guards who typically do not carry guns. They say the weapons also provide another option for controlling combative inmates. But Reuters has documented the cases of 104 inmates who died after they were stunned with the taser in jails and prisons across the U.S. Often in combination with other types of force. Stop kicking. In Franklin County, Ohio, officials declined to comment on the incidents of alleged taser misuse. After settling the lawsuit in 2011, the county prohibited guards from using tasers on prisoners who pose no reasonable threat oh. or those not resisting with physical force. I can't breathe! I can't breathe! I can't breathe! Kevin, I can't breathe! I can't breathe! Please let me go over my head! You're talking, you're breathing. Keep talking. You're talking, you're breathing. You're talking, you're breathing. You're talking, you're breathing. All right? You can breathe. Yeah, let me get on that side. Not good, I'm Captain! Let me get on that side. I might go a little bit the gear on. <laughs> Stop struggling. Stop resisting. If you talk right, and you breathe. Relax. I got through God believe me, please. You're not getting nothing until you calm down. So we think you're safe. I'm safe. I just need my friend. I need him. Put that one on. <sighs> I can't breathe, Captain, with it on. I can't breathe with it on. I'm serious. You're Wait. talking, you're breathing. If you're talking, you're breathing. 
Alright? Hey, I'm sorry. Please, please just keep that off. There, look, look, I'm good. I'm good, Captain. I'm good. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna hurt anybody, no spit and nothing. Please. Please, can you please get that off? Please. <coughs> Captain, can you please get that off? Captain, I can't breathe. Yes, you can. If you're talking, you're yelling, you're making me and you're breathing. All right? The video shows multiple officers surrounding Norris, who clearly struggle. They use a handheld taser to stun him as they attempt to strap him in the chair. But the family has filed a lawsuit, which claims officers tased Norris later that night while he was on suicide watch, physically restrained by the chair and multiple officers. But Sheriff Breedlove said officers followed procedure because Norris continued flinching and was not fully restrained. An overhead camera shows what happened. Asking, do you want me to do it again? And we got like a whole bunch of batteries we can train into you pretty much. Like we'll do it over and over till we have no more. Attorneys from a man suffering from mental illness say what you're about to see never should have happened. He was in the Pasco County Jail for a misdemeanor probation violation alone in his cell when he was shot. The day Matthew Trevino arrived at the Pasco County Jail, he was alone in his cell when deputies wanted to search him. But Trevino, according to his attorney who provided Fox 13 with this jail video, was in the midst of a schizophrenic episode and would not put his hands through the door. Due to him refusing, we're going to uh, deploy an over round. A NOVA round was created for situations like SWAT teams breaking into buildings. It's a distraction device, like a flashbang grenade, but fired from a shotgun. The company's own warnings say it's not supposed to be used to fire at humans or even animals. There's no reason at this point that they have to force their way in to the cell. There's, this is not an emergency situation. They certainly don't need to use this level of force. Later, when the officers file their reports, they claim that Mr. Trevino had backed away from the door and that the round ricocheted off the floor and struck him, which is just 100% false. And you can see it in the video as we continue. You can, you can see that when he fired at him, he was right up against the door. Completely unnecessary. That's Bo Bangert, an inmate circling his cell before stopping and putting up his fists. Watch what happens next. While restrained, Bangert is punched several times in the back of the head and neck. Not long after, four more deputies come into the cell to help bring Bangert to the ground. His attorney, Mark Marin, claims this was not an isolated incident. We started getting stories about people who were in Placer County Jail and just getting their asses whooped. Then we said, you know, you guys should think serious about settling this case because you're, you're going to suffer. Bangert is one of hundreds of people who joined a newly settled class action lawsuit awarding the victims a total of $1.4 million, with $250,000 going to Bangert, who, as the video shows, was beaten and left restrained and sitting in his cell.
The video shows Natasha McKenna, a 37-year-old, restrained by medics and officers during a, a cell transfer. The woman had been arrested for attacking a police officer. She also had a documented history of mental illness, including schizophrenia, bipolar disorder and depression. McKenna died four days after the recorded taser incident, with medical staff declaring brain death associated with physical restraint. Officials describe what happened as, quote, tragic. But none of the officers involved have been investigated. In this exclusive video we obtained, watch 31-year-old Carlos Seals walk into a holding area in the Richmond County Jail in Augusta. Deputies tell Seals to get up against the wall with his hands behind his back. I watched him come through the door, and he say, Pop is eight. Seals falls to the concrete floor. He's motionless with four deputies looking down at him. Two minutes after his head slams right into the floor, a jail nurse gives him medical attention. Fracture skull, I had a bleeding on the brain. I had a uh, missed my nerves up in my back. I had a uh, stroke. I just got right, right, right at the end there. You got a little change, right? Put that camera down, or we will tase you.